my potting soil video visiting Tuscany's Herbal Springs that are natural and free to public use. Join me as I take you to the four best things that I can find. We've come to this little thermal town of San Cassiano de Bagni to explore the free thermal springs, springs that are here. And this is actually in town. I have to go up here and see if this is warm water. No, it isn't. So I'm not sure that's a thermal spring. It's just a nice looking fountain. <laughs> but anyhow, just get an idea of some of the buildings. And the views out over the Val d'Orcia in Tuscany. We're visiting the small thermal town of San Cassiano dei Bagni. And in this little village, there are about 42 different springs that the thermal waters come from. And we found one of them. Let's go up and look at the source. There are lots of thermal springs in this area. We're in the Siena province, about 70 kilometers southeast of Siena, and the area has a lot of little thermal towns. But this particular town has been a thermal springs resort on and off for centuries. The Etruscans uh, considered these thermal waters a divine emanation and it's said that an Etruscan king actually bathed here, as did Emperor Augustus. So I'm leaving the free thermal spring at Banyo Bosolo and heading down the road, going past some gardening areas to the larger free bath. There's a spigot coming out of the mountainside with warm thermal water. The hillsides are full of springs. To get to these baths, you enter the small town center on the main road, and then on your left, there's a car park with a immediate kind of sharp drive down to the left of the car park and you go down that kind of a steep incline and keep going until you come to a little picnic area and uh, that first thermal spring is right across from the picnic area It's just lovely. The birds are singing, the sun's out. It's a beautiful day in May. What more could you ask for than a thermal bath, not your all. <laughs> Here come some people dressed for the thermal springs. Giorno. In the Middle Ages, the abbot of Cluny came here to treat his gout. Unfortunately, he was kidnapped while he was here by the brigand Gino de Taco. After a lull in the Middle Ages, San Cassiano was kind of restated as a thermal bath area in the 13th century for healing. And then um, the 17th to the 18th centuries, 
the area became favored by Italian and European nobility. For quantity of waters produced, this is the third largest natural springs in Europe. It's just lovely the way they've made these pools for everyone to enjoy. run back and forth so it circulates the water. San Cassiano de Bagni, the Siena province. A spa natural. If you decide that you would rather have a proper spa with all the amenities and niceties of life, This is the entrance to one of them. I think this is where yeah, Leopold I of Belgium would come to this particular spa in its heyday. Uh, and it's a private spa, obviously, but it's just uh, an extreme alternative to the free spas we looked at earlier down the winding path. Today we're in the small village of Bagno Vignoni, which is southeast of Siena, several clicks. Approaching the covered area, the loggia, which is right next to the main square of the town, which, as you will see, is a rather special main square. As part of our little series on visiting free thermal spas in Tuscany, today we're in the small town of Bagno Vignoni which is unique in that it's the only place in Italy where the main square is filled with hot springs water. This Renaissance era piazza is actually built on top of the original hot springs used by the Romans beginning in the, in the ninth century. The town of Bagno Vignoni is just minutes off of the Via Francigena, which is an important pilgrim route from England to Rome and onto the Holy Land. And it's still much in use today. We see lots of people hiking that as we pass through Tuscany. Two historical figures who enjoyed the hot springs rather regularly in Bagno Vignoni were Pope Pius II and also Lorenza the Magnificent of Medici fame. And you can see the water bubbling out in the middle because the hot springs are bubbling up. We're going to head out on the edge of town and uh, visit the free thermal hot spring pools this area where I'm now standing is the park of mills. And it used to be a series of mills that they had set up. Of course, they're all gone now. 
but what's interesting is they have these little canals that the water ran through to generate and uh, power the mills. Most of them are empty, but there's one over here that has water in it, and that's warm thermal water if you wanted to soak your feet. and it's draining off down this cliff. And I'm going to see if I can't head down the cliff because I suspect that's where the three pools for the mineral waters are. You can see it going down and falling off the edge of it. So let's see if we can't get down a little bit closer and find some of these thermal pools. Heading down these steps to try and get to the thermal pools at the base of the cliff. I don't know how long a, a hike this is. I thought it was just a couple minute walk, couple minutes walk, but it looks like it's getting a bit more involved. I'll keep you posted. a little pool right there and then it runs down further. There's a big pool off to the left down here that I can't see from, from where I'm filming this. But you can see off to the right a small narrow pool and then a much nicer one. Beautiful aquamarine colors. The hot springs at Bagno Vignoni come out at 52 degrees centigrade, which is right around 125 degrees Fahrenheit and it's considered the hottest mineral springs in Tuscany hyperthermal, and uh, the waters contain sulfate and bicarbonate. They're very alkaline and mineral rich, good for treating the skin, your skeletal system, especially if uh, you have arthritis, it's a great place to soak. Plus, it has just a relaxing effect on your muscles. If you want a full treatment spa, there are several in town where you can get um, the waters, you can take the waters and get a massage and beauty treatment. So you could try the uh, Adler Spa or the Hotel Posta Marucci or the Hotel La Terme. Since the 11th century, water therapy as a medical treatment has been well documented. Taking the waters, as they used to call it, was done to heal illnesses and treat aches and pains. We're in the Val d'Orcia of Tuscany, Bagno Vignoni, Mineral Hot Springs, Naturale. This is the little village of Bagni San Filippo, about 60 miles south of Siena in the Val d'Orcia. mineral formation coming down the mountain from the thermal springs. It's called the Belin Bianco or white whale. And there you can see some people enjoying one of the pools nearby. These are natural thermal pools in the forest.
slight smell of sulfur in the air. This is the oldest natural and man-made spa in the world, and it's fed directly from hot springs. It's believed that the Etruscans and the Romans bathed here, and it's located on the slope of Mount Amiata, which is an extinct volcano. Minerals found in these waters are calcium, magnesium, sulfur, and sulfate. The healing properties are good for joints, bones, skin, and the respiratory system. There's the overflow. These springs, San Filippo, Bagni San Filippo, were named after Prior Filippo Benizi, who discovered the springs and mentioned them in his writings as far back as 1271. It's the source of the thermal waters dripping down filling up this pool that I'm soaking in. This is the Hotel Terme in the village of Bagni San Filippo. And if you'd rather have a proper spa and a massage, this is where you'd come. And by the way, the natural, au natural, um, mineral springs, there's no place to change or no amenities like toilets or anything. But it's completely free, 24-7. One of my natural thermal spas to visit is Cascate del Molino, which is just outside the spa town of Saturnia. And we're looking at aquamarine colored hillsides terraced with steaming travertine stone pools of thermal water. And it looks like everybody and their mother has come out on this hot day to enjoy these thermal springs. There's a restaurant on the side here, a restroom and a changing area, which is unusual for natural thermal spas and as you can see a lot of people are treating it like the beach <laughs> and just having a really good time on this hot afternoon in May. The water temperature here is 37 and a half degrees centigrade year-round which comes out to about 99 and a half degrees Fahrenheit. We're in Grosseto province about a five minute drive outside of the town of Saturnia. In the 1300s, this area was a hideout for outlaws, and so it was basically burned to the ground and forgotten until taking the waters came back into vogue. It was an area frequented and enjoyed by the Etruscans and the Romans, and now just Italians in general. These rocks are pretty unforgiving, so it's a strong suggestion that you wear water shoes, as most people have. 
sandals or some kind of river shoe. Legend has it that the springs came from the exact spot where Jupiter's thunderbolt fell when he was in battle against Saturn. And the scars left by that thunderbolt were the portals to hell with the steamy, smelly water coming out of it. It's a sulfur smell. <laughs> These are sulfur springs. waters in the Rosetto province of Tuscany, Cascade de Molino outside of Saturnia. As always, thanks for joining me as we visited these natural spas. Each location is featured on my new app Potiposh. Potty Posh is a fantastic little travel guide for must-see destinations in Tuscany, the languedoc Roussillon, and Provence, which uniquely includes GPS locations, descriptions, and ratings of all of the public toilets in the locations visited on the app. Written in five languages, it's an app for people on the go, like yourselves, who have to go. So if you're out and about in Tuscany or the south of France, take Potty Posh with you available on Apple and Google. And I leave you with this. The marrow of life is not your usual trick. <laughs>